let's me start the another topic on the local queue also local queue that's the another property of the local queue that is the persistent message and then persistent method if you see here that the queue and there is a one option that the uh, default persistent there is a one option that persistent and then persistent what do what does it mean if you need to know about that because this is a very important parameters especially for the queue uh, if you uh, 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 yeah. persistent message in simple way i can say if uh, i make it as a persistent and if i apply that let me allow the queue also so not i have allowed the queue okay. then if i make the persistence of the anything then uh, in case of some issue happen with the applications and uh, somehow the network failure happen I need to restart the uh, that key manager. The message inside that will be not be lost, and message will be stored in there after the restart of the key manager. But in case uh, I need to uh, restart the application and the key uh, is non persistent, the message will be lost. So why this is has been made? You need to know that also. <coughs> If I make a persistent, let's take example the uh, this message is very important for us, and this message no need, did not need to be destroyed. And then in that case, we made it a persistent because we don't want to lose any single message uh, uh, from the queue. So as soon as the application will be up, and uh, as soon as the queue manager will be up, that message will be delivered to them. But let's example there is some message that having the uh, no importance and very less importance in case it got lost then uh, it, it will uh, uh, don't impact any business and anything else then we make it a non persistent what is the benefit of that benefit of that is that if I make it a non persistent the system performance will be increases uh, the performance of the uh, uh, system will be increased because it takes some less memory if I make the ET persistent the memory consumption will be better be increased and uh, uh, it makes the system performance little bit slow but in case I made it a, a non persistent so system performance will be increased that's the reason we make the many of the queue persistent and many of the queue not persistent Let's try and the restarting the key measure and see how the message are going or not. Let's first try with the making the queue persistent. I'm making the queue persistent and trying to uh, put some message into that. And uh, we'll see if the message after the restart will destroy or not. I have currently you can see that I have made the queue persistent. Let me put the few message. If for the queue, just you need to click right click here and then here you can see the put text message. I will little to hi there. Hello. Yes. I have put in three message. You can see just I have refreshed that. You can see three message. How can you see that the what message I have sent? You have to just click right click here. Or you can see browse message. There is option. If you go to here, you can see here that the there hi there hello and yes there are the three uh, message that i just put here let me restart the our queue manager and see how the message is going or not in here in this case the it is a persistent then message should be stay here and it will not lost then let me uh, for the uh, for the stopping the queue manager just key right click on the queue manager here the option the store there is option of controlled and immediate we will use controlled and if you just if, uh, click on the OK, you can see the queue is stopping. Let's get it a stop, and then we will after that we will start the queue measure and see what's how the performance is. Uh, let me start the queue measure. When we start, you just click on the right click on that and click on the start. There is option of start as a created. Just click on that. You will give, it, it will take some time, and the queue measure will be up. The queue measure is now up. Let's browse the queue. And you can see all three messages there, and no one has lost. Let me browse the queue and see is that message or that what I have put in there. I just put in that message, and you can see this. There is this that message. It is there. 
let me clear that message let me clear the message that i have been kept for clearing message you have to there is option clear message and you can clear from here just click on the clear you can message will get cleared let me the q let me the change the current q configuration to persistent from persistent to non persistent and click on apply and let me put some message to here if i put the message let me put text message let me is this time put some something else some something else uh, a a a b b b c c c this time i have kept uh, i have uh, just put four message let me show what message i have sent just click on brown message you can see here uh, the message something else a a a b b b and c c c that i have kept and i have the made the queue to perform process persistent to non persistent so what will happen in that case if i restart the our queue measure the all the message will got lost because the queue property is non persistent and all message will be gone let me re shut down the queue measure to shut down you have to do to stop and that control and then that stop it will some take time and it will go off let me start the queue manager and if you starting just click on the start get started created it will get started now you can see the queue manager started and it will let the browse the queue and you can see all message gone there is no message here you can see you can browse here you can see the current give the zero you can browse message you will soon no message here there is nothing else here that's the difference between the persistent and non persistent message uh let's get uh, i will later will study on different thing uh, but you need to know about the what do you mean by persistent and non persistent message very very important parameters is there okay let's go to the 